Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here with our buddy Robert Halleck. What's up, y'all? Haven't seen this guy before. He is now involved with all things AI. What is your technical marketing title officially, Robert? I'm the VP and GM of AI and technical marketing for Intel Core Ultra CPUs. Excellent. Okay. In the CCG or client uh, division. Excellent. And uh, so today we saw a lot of new things on Lunar Lake um core ultra 200 v series as it were um give us the high notes on that uh high notes we have the fastest cpu core in the industry right now which is awesome that's hard job uh we bumped graphics performance by about 30 percent uh we made the package power the the amount of power that the chip consumes 50 percent lower than last time mm. and because of all of these other architectural changes we're getting about twice the energy efficiency out of the part, and of course, we have a brand new NPU that's four times faster than the last one. And we also put AI in graphics, and that's also about four times faster than the last one. So those are the highlights of the chip. So versus Meteor Lake, so the fastest core in the industry. Yep. What do you mean by that? Well, 1T performance, as everybody knows, you can do it with Cinebench, Geekbench, Spec, right? We've all won that benchmark, seen that benchmark, and uh, our top end core Ultra 9 288V has the highest score in all three of those tests. Wow. Okay. So, um, power envelopes for the processors. Uh, we're talking about thin and light machines, thin premium. Light. Yeah, it's a uh, nine to thirty-three watts is the full range of this part. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Competition versus Qualcomm. How are we how are we looking? Because Snapdragon X Elite is pretty strong these days. What do, what do you think about how you guys are going to map out versus them? Well, look, uh, they made a good chip, and I think we just made a better one. Uh, let's take office productivity as a, as an example. It's what most people do on these laptops. We're about 20% more energy efficiency uh, in these workloads. Um, and on battery life, we win some, we lose some. Uh, we're two hours ahead in office work. We're two hours behind on teleconferencing. So you know, if you care about battery life, you care about performance, but we're... we're right at the top, and that's exactly where we want it to be. How about video playback from Binge and Netflix? Uh, video playbacks is also extremely strong, although I can't remember the number off the top of my head. I think <laughs> one of our partners is citing 25 plus hours, so that should give you a, a ballpark of what it's like. Uh, and of course, gaming is something that uh, we can actually do on this part. Um, we tested about 50 games, and unfortunately, our friends in San Diego failed about half of them, but we can run every single one of those titles. So. That's a, a unique use case that you can do on a system like this that you can't do on a Qualcomm system. Yeah, there's the LG Gram. It's it's not lit on the screen here currently. It's running a Super demo. Thin. LG Gram 16, yeah. Super thin. Wow. Um, so let's talk about gaming. You're, you're talking about uh, you know significantly better performance versus sure. Snapdragon. How about versus uh, AI 300 series? Oh, well, they've always had a good GPU. People know Radeon for for good graphics performance. So we're uh, you know we're about 16 percent faster on average. Uh, kind of the same set of 50 games that I was mentioning versus Qualcomm, and that's a 1080p with the medium in-game preset on all of them. Okay, cool. Um, what are you looking like in terms of? Um, well, I'm just I'm just thinking in general when when you when you talk about XESS versus FSR when you do super resolution that kind of stuff are you are you do you have an advantage there? Uh, so like FSR versus XESS, for yeah. example, nah, I haven't seen the numbers. We got to go test that next. We've just been trying to get the core graphics power and NPU tested, and then we can move on to other stuff. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. Um, and Qualcomm again not quite there in terms of gaming performance unfortunately not no. your gpu core is uh battle mage ilk is that uh, correct that is the code name uh in in market you'll see it as the xe2 graphics architecture xe2 and about how much more graphics performance versus meteor like about 30 percent on average but that's at 30 watts but if you go maybe 17 watts or 9 watts maybe the handheld market, it's twice as fast. XC2 is twice as fast, general origin. Handheld market. Will we see some handheld gaming devices? I, built? Yes, I saw some headlines today to that effect. So people can go check those out. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think MSI's had a claw out there on Meteor Lake. As well. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So that'll be exciting. What do we have going on here for a demo? You've got an, an AI demo of sorts going on here behind you, I think. Yeah, so AI is so new and uh, people often ask us, what can you do with AI? Mm -hmm. So we built this program called AI Playground. It's totally free. 
and it allows you to uh, do super resolution on images, so image upscaling. Mm -hmm. uh, it has access to Stable Diffusion 1.5, Stable Diffusion XL, so you can generate both standard and high-res yes. SD images. Mm -hmm. um, and then it also has access to multiple language models that you can uh, that you can pick from. Some are better than others at certain tasks. And this app handles all the back-end work of downloading the model, loading the model, running the model. So we'll just take uh, an example of, uh, I don't know, what should we generate? What should we generate? Um, we should generate a, um, a dog riding a surfboard on a sunny day in Texas. How's that? Sunny day in Texas. All right. I just made that up. I just fixed my own typo here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so it can actually, on this part, we can... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There we go. Yeah, some of these are pretty good. Uh, so because of the extra AI performance that we've added in this product, both the GPU and the NPU are about four times faster than the previous generation. You can generate an image in three to five seconds, whereas it took 20 plus seconds in the last cycle. So you saw how quickly it generated four different images, and this one was Stable Diffusion 1.5. Stable Diffusion XL, much, much higher resolution. You can make wallpapers for high-res phones, uh, displays, laptops, uh, and yeah, just really high quality. Cool. So, hey, really like the idea that you guys are developing apps for folks to get access to all of these new AI models, take advantage of that NPU. How does your NPU performance stack up versus, say, Ryzen AI 300 or Snapdragon X Elite? Uh, on Snapdragon X Elite, we're a touch faster. You know, they've got 45 tops, we've got 48. Uh, that's an int8 data type comment. int8 is good for language models, but for generating images, FP16 is actually a lot better. And our NPU can run that, but Qualcomm's currently doesn't seem to be capable. I'm not sure if it's software or architecture. Um, on the AMD side, similar constraints. It seems to do int8 well, but uh, falls apart, unfortunately, with FP16. And we can do int8, int4, FP16, FP32, hybrid data types on all three engines. Good stuff. And, you know, software enablement is a huge part of bringing this in. <laughs> And you yeah. guys have a serious amount of software engineering resources in That's the right. team. Yeah. Yeah. So good stuff. Well, Robert, we're excited to see these laptops in market. Uh, Lunar Lake Core Ultra 200 series laptops coming soon. So can, can we pre-order today? Today. You can pre-order systems. Pre-order today and available when? Uh, what is the date? Uh, September, September 24th? 24th is yeah. That's I right. think so. September 24th. From all the usual sub stacks, uh, Dell, Lenovo, HP, all of them. I, know, I, I know, um, you know some other new announcement recently have had a very limited number of laptops, and that will not be the case with Core Ultra. Every OEM has multiple designs coming on September 24th. It will be very widely available. Awesome. Awesome. Do you have a favorite child that you're looking at? Uh, I really like the Dell XPS. Okay. Uh, it's super, super thin. The RAM is really cool. I also want to try one of the new Asus chassis. They sound really nice, and the performance has been awesome. ZenBook 14 or something That's like great. that, right? Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Well, hey, Robert, thanks very much for your time. It's great to see yeah. you again. Thanks, Dave. Always a pleasure. Yeah, and congratulations on the uh, Lunar Lake launch. Thanks, sir.